Connect is a platform from Claw Virtual Fashion, the team behind Marvelous Designer and Claw 3D. And if you are not familiar with it, Claw is a 3D garment design software mainly focused and tailored for fashion designers, while Marvelous Designer is a similar software but more oriented towards film, gaming, and computer graphics in general. Claw actually reached out for a collaboration and was wondering if we are interested in reviewing their platform, Connect. The platform is a gallery and a marketplace for digital fashion creators supporting all kinds of creative fashion projects, from garments and fabrics to trims, avatars and props with apps for VR and optimization. So let's dive in and see what this platform is all about. Right when you hit the homepage, you will see sections like the curator's pick, which highlights some of the platform's selected designs, and Connect Official, where the platform showcases assets it wants to feature. As you scroll down, you will find more sections like top accessories, top free items, and most popular fabrics. These sections are great if you are just exploring or want to see what's trending. You also get dedicated categories for avatars, trims, scenes, and prop assets, which makes it super easy to focus on what you need for your specific project. And if you're working with Claw, there is a Claw training section to help you level up your skills with that software. The platform is pretty easy to navigate, whether you are looking for inspiration or you are already working on something specific. In the store section, you will find a wide range of assets organized into categories like garments, fabrics, trims, avatars, and scenes. The filtering options let you narrow down your search by price, whether you're looking for free or paid assets, file formats, curator picks, or even items from creators you follow. You can also sort results by price, date, or feature status, which makes it easy to find what you need, whether you are exploring the platform or working with a specific budget. One thing I like is the original item system. Let's say you purchased a trim and you want to use it in a garment. The original creator gets credit and earns royalties from your sales. This helps support creators, though it doesn't apply to scenes and props just yet, something they might consider adding in future updates. Having downloaded a few items myself, I wouldn't say they are ready for workflows outside still image rendering in the fashion industry. The assets look good for static visuals. I will give them that benefit. But when it comes to more dynamic use cases, like animation or real-time projects, they might require additional adjustments or optimization to work smoothly. Maybe using everywhere that we will see later in the video. It's something to keep in mind depending on your project's needs. And if you are thinking about uploading your own stuff to the store, let me break it down for you. First, just hit the upload button in the top right corner. You will be asked if you are uploading to the gallery or the store. If you are looking to sell something, obviously go with the store option. Next, you pick the project you want to upload and fill some details. Things like the tile, description, and tags. Now, don't skip over the tags. They are super important for helping people find your work. Just think about what someone might search for if they needed something like your design and you are good to go. You also need to upload your files and add some images, including a thumbnail. The thumbnail is key because it's what people see first. So make it look good and a blurry or unclear thumbnail is probably not gonna grab someone's attention. After that, you will set the categories for your item. Stuff like gender and age, style and objective, which basically help organize your design in the store. Then you will choose a collection to add it to. Collections are kind of like your personal portfolio on the platform, so they are a nice way to keep your work tidy and easy to browse. Finally, decide if your item is gonna be free or paid. If it is paid, just set a price. And if you are cool with people using your design for physical production, you can check that box too. Once everything is set, hit publish and voila, it is out there for people to see or maybe even buy. One of the useful tools is Everywhere. It is an app that helps to organize garments for virtual platforms like games or augmented reality. 
With everywhere, you can reduce polygon count on entire outfits or specific trims to meet performance requirements without sacrificing too much visual quality, which I would say is great. This is basically a very long-winded way to say this is an auto retop tool. It also automates the rigging, so garments snap to avatars easily. However, if something is off, you can tweak the weight painted manually using the weight brush, which gives you full control over how the clothing moves and stretches with the avatar's joints, which I would say is a huge time saver. This is especially handy when working with more complex designs. There is also the materials tab, which includes tools like UV packing and texture baking. UV packing helps optimize your UV layout for better texture resolution. And texture baking lets you bake details like normal maps and ambient occlusion into lower poly garments. These features make sure your garments are lightweight but still look great in virtual environments where resources are limited, like mobile games or AR filters. And by the way, the new community feature is here, which is a good place for creators to connect. There are different sections to keep things organized. General is for any random chats or discussions, while Q&A is where you can ask questions and get answers for others, as you might expect. You can also share your projects, get and give some quick tips and hacks, and if you want feedback on your work or to help someone out with theirs, there is a user feedback section. And there is a job board for those of you looking for collaborations and job opportunities. And to be honest, I'm always down for a good debate and talks with other creators, so I do think it was a nice feature to add. And generally speaking, it is a simple way to share ideas, ask for advice, and connect with others. The gallery section is a space where you can showcase your work and browse others' creations. You will see everything, from polished final renders to more experimental pieces. The gallery is set up with filters that let you sort by submission date, popularity, and even the software used which is great if you're looking for something specific or just want to see how others are using the platform. That being said, I think it can take advantage of using a safe search filter because some submissions can be a bit too revealing, at least for me. So having that option would make browsing more comfortable for everyone. Talking about everyone, the contest section, which was added just recently to the platform, gives you a chance to participate in challenges based on specific themes, like futuristic fashion or sustainable materials. These competitions are a great way to push your creativity, try new techniques, and to add your portfolio. Once the contacts are over, the winners will be highlighted in the CLAW virtual fashion official social media, including CLAW, Marvelous Designer, and the Connect channel, which will give the winning artist more exposure, and it goes without saying that there is a big chunk of money for grabs for people who don't care about exposure. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in anything mentioned here, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.